All right, so after it was teased and rumored and third-party manufacturers kind of came up with workarounds with shortcuts, Battery Intelligence is live in iOS 26 in addition to a completely new revamped battery settings. Let's go ahead and jump into it and talk about these items today. So when you go into settings and then battery, you will be greeted with a completely new look that does update over time and you'll see it'll start loading up here to tell you your daily usage and there are a number of new features in here. The first thing first is not only telling you your daily usage and where it compares to your average, but also how you can see total battery usage and different power modes. If you go into power modes, you will see there is a new adaptive power mode. And this reads, when your battery usage is higher than usual, iPhone can make small performance adjustments to extend your battery life, including slightly lowering the display brightness or allowing some activities to take a little longer. Low power mode may turn on at 20% still, so these two can go hand in hand. Basically, long story short, what this means is that the iPhone will now throttle performance to extend battery life. I think that's okay in the right scenarios. I'm very curious to see how it actually operates, especially in beta one. This might not be the most ideal option to use strictly for the fact that of how glitchy and buggy and how much frame rates, frame rates get dropped. Um, it could be horribly um, visually performance wise and everything else that goes along with it. So we'll have to see. I do have it turned on. I've had it turned on for a couple days now. We'll do a follow up video letting you guys know how that works. But just thumbs up this video and subscribe to the channel if you want to see it. Now, what I think is going to be one of the more exciting changes here. And let me go ahead and get our anchor power bank out here and get this charging power cord up right in the battery settings now alone, you will see that not only does it say charging, but if you were below 80%, it would tell you how long of a charge it would take to get to 80% and then also 100. Since we're obviously at 98% right now, you can see it says charging and we need nine minutes to get to 100%. If you lock your phone, it has that new look lock screen and then when you tap it right here by the date, you will see how much time it takes left to charge. So again, here's a little glitch right here. It said it was charged at 100. We know it's not, it's at 98. So we'll keep discovering all these little glitches and bugs along the way. But when you plug up right here is where you will see the time left to charge. So it's very interesting that it is showing charged. We'll go ahead and kind of drag this out and drop the uh, battery life down a little more so we can talk more about it. But as you can see here, it is totally, totally different. If you go to view battery usage, this is what looked familiar from prior screen active time, screen idle time, what's been using your battery life, other battery usage on home screen and lock screen for basically iOS settings. So this will look similar to what you were used to before. But then again, now you can also see up top here the last time it was charged and when that was. So pretty nice to see here nonetheless. I do think that some of these changes here will be very helpful for power users to kind of really hone in on what's draining battery life. But finally, battery intelligence, like I said, is here in iOS. So yeah, just a quick video of the overview of the new battery settings and the battery intelligence, even though nothing is strictly calling it battery intelligence, that's what we're gonna call it and refer to it as for now. One other last little fun tweak, in fact, that Apple has implemented in the iOS 26 betas and they could change. When you swipe to unlock, you get a slight bounce on your icons. But fun fact, the harder you swipe away, look at that recourse and that bounce. I'm not sure if this is a glitch or intentional, but that is pretty cool nonetheless to see. It's these little details that get us excited for what iOS 26 can be as soon as the execution's there and all those bugs are fixed. Again, this is only the first beta. I fully expect us to get new features and new tweaks along the way. So that's it for this one, guys. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Was this what you were hoping for? We'll catch you in the next one. Peace.